What is really hood, everybody? What is really hood? It's your boy, Mr. Ed Man 75, and it has been a minute. And, um, no, I'm not even going to hit you with a bunch of other kind of stuff. Just to let you know that it's been a minute, and I have still been collecting. And uh, I thought to myself, like, earlier, like, maybe around by November, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do me a top 10. You know, these cats be talking about it so hard, and, you know what I'm saying? I have to eliminate figures and you know and I thought I was gonna come at it with a real rational kind of like you know uh this don't make it this don't make it this don't make it this don't make it you know and I was I was doing pretty good until like close to the end of the year and Hasbro just keep coming out with stuff I almost made it to the end of the year I swear I did I almost made it but Hasbro came out with that uh Black Panther wave and I just so happened to get it um, you know, and I kind of waited to see what else these guys was going to do. And then by the time I was ready to do it, you know, my work, you know, I had to work and I really had to, uh, you know, get on my grind or whatever. So now I get some free time and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and break down my top 10, which isn't really a top 10, more like a top 17 or whatever the case may be. I'm kind of like breaking down like some of the uh, honorable mentions. I guess that's what people are saying. But these were the figures that were in my top 10 and they kind of got bumped out. Um, I, I see right here, I got this Hulk, you know, um, the builder figure from the uh, Thor Ragnarok wave. Now, I didn't include him because, you know, it's a builder figure and, you know, you know, you get you get more room to do things better. I mean, I'm only putting him here because I'm hoping and praying that this become the new Hulk mode. I mean, I'm looking at the face and a lot of you, you know, you've seen his face on this thing. He didn't look nothing. He don't look nothing like the movie. And you know, he looked like a comic book accurate Hulk. So if they go ahead and do that, lighten up, you know, give him give him a little better green, more like a, a green like this, I guess, you know, kind of like this one. You know, give him a green like that. I think that Hulk could be decent. And then give him like a snarling or a yelling face. Be awesome. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my top 10, the top 20 or whatever. I'm going to break this up. This is going to be part, I guess you want to say two. And then I hit you with part one on another video. All right, let's get into it. Now, coming at you at number 10. Is really Elsa Bloodstone, but for a while it was Captain America, this vintage cap. Now, Elsa, Elsa kind of took me off guard. You know, I wasn't expecting to like this actual figure out of the whole box set. I was really trying to get the box set for the She-Hulk, but the She-Hulk was just kind of okay. You know, I'm, I'm so used to having uh, She-Hulk in like a more fun-loving face or whatever. They could have kind of mixed it up and had her with a, like a, like a uh, angry-like smirk. Or whatever but you know they just went with an angry face and um you know not even angry she was the she hawk is more like stern i guess you want to say but elsa was just an entirely different character you know it was just somebody i was never really really familiar with i was more familiar with her dad and um you know i i kind of got into the character i like the look i like the extra weapons um only little couple of nick picks i had was I wish they had like a holster or like one of those like cross things, you know, like what, who's that? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Warpath. Warpath had them two knife things in his back on his lower back. I wish they gave those to her and like had like the cross thing to put her guns in the back or whatever. That would have been freaking cool. And I wish that her uh, ponytail was a movable piece instead of it just sitting like that. And Cap, you know, um, this is pretty much a repaint. But the um, couple of Captain Americas that I got back then, that was uh, the Wolf Cap or whatever, the head scopes, uh, the eyeballs was just all out of whack, man. And I appreciate that none whatsoever. So this one, not only did it give me uh, better eyes, but it also gave me the painted on chain mail. And I thought that was cool. And I'm more of a... I'm more of an old school kind of guy. You know, you'll kind of see in most of my picks, you know, um, I kind of I kind of favor more so to the original aspect of the character instead of all these drummed up kind of like looking, you know, things or whatever. But, you know, I'm saying too much, but this is my number 10 pick. Let's move on to number nine. And at my number nine figures is going to be Invisible Woman and Human Torch. I don't care what you say. Like, 
when they come out with Thing and Fantastic Four, and I got to rate those two guys to Thing and Reed Richards, everybody's going to be together, G. Like, it's, <laughs> it's not going to be, like, separate. First and foremost, a lot of you guys got turned, tuned in to Spider-Man and the X-Men, maybe even to the Avengers. But this Fantastic Four was the first group or first comic book ever I ever read. And like, it was just, it's just what it is. So I may have like a, a, a vast bias because, you know, these are my characters. You know what I'm saying? I have so many fond memories of reading these guys. And, um, you know, I was waiting for a long time to um, have a actual set, you know, because I don't think that um, Sue was done as well as uh, she could have been in a lot of the Toy Biz incarnations. And uh, I think Reed was just okay. Um, the only two that I feel like they did like a decent, well, the only one I feel like they sometimes did a decent job with was the thing. And, you know, Johnny had, was hit or missed. But I like this Johnny. Um, uh, I like this Sue. Dave is going to be in the dang on uh, top 10. Like, that goes without saying. So, number nine, Invisible Woman, Human Torch. All right, let's go to eight. Now, going in at number eight is going to be the... Iron Man that just came out with this Black Panther set. Yeah, he kind of like snuck in on me. It was, I kind of figured you guys knew what I was talking about. These figures, Hasbro just kept coming out with stuff. And this Iron Man was like more than what I thought he was going to be. Because originally it was going to be the Green Goblin. Because I just thought this Green Goblin was great. I thought the um, face was great. You know, um, I thought. Everything about the, you know, the, the chain mail and all of this, you know, scales or whatever. I thought that was cool. Only thing I didn't like, as you can see, was the the glider. You know, I like this glider more better. This went with the uh, Toy Biz Green Goblin, which in comparisons, you know, I mean, that Green Goblin kind of holds up because it was it was a real authentic look to the comic, you know. So the body of it. He was a little bit too small and scrimpy. You know, this one has a little girth to him. And um, I just feel like overall the design for this one was way better than the other previous Green Goblins we had. But this Iron Man, man, like like I said, it totally blew me away. I was not expecting this one. And it was a, it's a great figure. You know, I had to throw it in there. You know, so I didn't necessarily want to bump this out. But... Uh, it's my dang on list. <laughs> this is what I'm choosing. This is what I'm digging. So at number eight, it's going to be Iron Man and the Green Goblin. Let's go on to number seven. Now coming in at number seven, I think. Yeah, seven. So this is going to be the Malekith and Boar figures coming from the San Diego Comic Con Thor box set or Ratnarok box set, whatever you want to call it. Like, for some odd reason, I have no idea why. Probably because a lot of people are not familiar or, you know, they just don't have no, they can't relate to the actual character. I kind of felt that way about Boar, but Malekith, like I was reading the comics back in the day, you know what I'm saying, with the, you know, with the, the, the their, like Marvel's version of Red the Rock, which in my opinion, <clears throat> excuse me, in my opinion of the movie, movie was a, a tad bit too goofy. You know, it was too much laughing and jokes and crap. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I understand Witty, witty Banner, but it was, it was too silly. You know, you can't have two, like, movies that's similar. Like, you can't make Thor like Guardians of the Galaxy, man. It's just whatever. But Malekith, this Malekith, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the one I'm familiar with. And this figure came out awesome. Like, I can't understand why this isn't on a lot of people's list. You know, it's, you know, I don't know. It's, it's like, 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 like people say in all the, all the videos, you know, before you start criticizing, saying, oh, that selection sucks. You know, I mean, everybody has their own list. You know, that's why I don't put like no negative comments or anything on other people's list because it's their list. And this figure, I felt like should have been like on everybody's list. In my personal opinion. And like Boar. 
you know, I think I had one comic where Bora came back and Thor fought him, not realizing that was his grandfather and wind up killing him and then he get in trouble. Yada, yada, yada. Long story short, that was the only thing I was familiar with with this character. But the figure, like, a lot of these figures you got to look at, like, is this figure dope? Did they do a good job with this figure? And, like, instead of saying, like, oh, you know, I like this so much, I like this figure so much, or I like Deadpool so much, I like to fondle his balls, whatever the case, because... There's a lot of Deadpool ball fondlers out there. Like, really? Like, come on, man. Like, if you like the character, cool. But just don't like it because he's popular. Like it because you didn't read something about it and you didn't get into the character. Like, but for this figure right here, just the overall, just what what Hasbro did and what they put together and mashed together and made this figure, this is a dope figure. And that's why he had to make my list. You know, this made the list because I like the figure. And on top of that, I think they did an awesome job on it. This, you know, I don't really know too much about him. But his overall look and aesthetics is dope. So at number seven is going to be Malekith and Boar. And finally, uh, I don't know whether I'm going to label this video one or two. It just I did this one first. So let's just go ahead and label this one because I'm starting from the bottom going up. So, um... Label this one, and then part two would be uh, five through five to one. Okay, whatever. I you would see it in the dang on listing. Anyway, <laughs> this is uh, Sunfire and Shadowstar. Now, both of these figures are um, two characters that I'm very fond with, far as their incarnations in the the comic book. Now, um, not so much with. Uh, Rob Layfield or whatever that guy name is. Not so much with him. No, even though he like kind of designed the character or whatever. Um Jesus, I can't remember any of these guys' names. It's, like it was it was uh doing the X Force run where this guy named Greg Coppola was, I'm I'm no I'm butchering his name. Sorry about that, but uh I know I dug his art. Uh, I, I know he went over to DC and did some things with DC too, but I know this guy art was phenomenal and he did a run on X-Force and uh, at this time Cable was missing uh, some yada yada yada. But anyway, I thought the character was dope. Uh, I love what they did with him in there and um, I was like, he had to make the list. But, you know, in the same wave, we had this guy. Now, Sunfire is definitely without a doubt at the top of my list as far as characters is concerned because the X Men, I didn't get into the X Men until Giant Size. You know, like the Giant Size was the first X Men comic book I ever read, and from that point going on, it was like he was always next man. He was always part of the group. He may have left, may have like a gigantic anger issue, but he was always an X Men to me. So, like. I am very fond of that group. So I, I'm going to need like that, that version of storm. I'm going to need that. They need to go ahead and do that. I need, I need the uh, Thunderbird. Y'all need the Hasbro. Y'all need to go ahead and knock those figures out. Why is you hesitating? Why is it so much delay? <laughs> Cause I need that group, especially that storm. Like you need to do that. They coming out with this Mohawk storm. Like would you leave the Mohawk alone, please. Can you give me the classic storm? The, the almost butt naked storm. How about you give me that one? I don't know what y'all doing. And you know, when you when you do that, go ahead and give me that Colossus too. Right now I can stick with my Nightcrawler from Toy Biz. But anyway, <laughs> these figures had to make the list. So much nostalgia going on with these cats, and I love these figures. So at number what is this? Six? Yep. Shadowstar and Sunfire. So this is going to be the end of this video. I'm going to do another video counting down from five to one. So just stay tuned to that one. Your boy, Mr. Ant-Man 75 will be back with another video. All right. Holla at you guys later. Please go ahead and comment. Let me know what you feel about my picks and let me know uh, what, let me know what you think is going to be in my next five. You know, hit me with those comments. Holla at your boy. Deuces.